This is my third part for the must-have apps for Android devices. My previous part 1 and the part 2 were titled as must-have apps for Note, Note 2 and S3. That doesn't mean those apps are not compatible with other Android devices. Actually, I've been testing those apps in my Note and my Note 2. That's why I kept must-have apps for Note and Note 2 as my title. But from this video onwards, I'm gonna title it as must-have apps for Android devices. So let's begin the countdown and starting with an antivirus app. So it's the Avast Mobile Security, one of the best antivirus app for Android devices and it's free. It not only scans your installed apps and memory card contents, but also supports safe browsing, anti-theft, Avast widget to control your applications from your home screen, SMS call filter and seal control, that is advanced settings for your web, apps and messages. And the biggest advantage to use this app, it consumes very less battery and runs only when performing tasks. So consumes very less memory and very less battery. So you can do, do your own settings for your anti-theft and uh, SMS call filter, seal control, safe browsing and so on. So you can just go through it. So that's my number one. So the next one in my list is the Swift Keyflow Beta. This app is not available on the Play Store as it's in the testing phase. You can google apks for it. Though it's a beta version, it works great. You can download up to 3 languages and use 3 languages simultaneously. You can also customize it. This keyboard is similar to swipe. You even don't need to lift your finger for your spacebar. Just to show you. Yep, that's pretty much it. So guys, the next app in my list is the Light Flow. This app allows you to customize your LED colors for your notifications. Say for example, for Bluetooth, I set my color to yellow. This means, if I forget to close my Bluetooth, a yellow light will appear, notifying me that the Bluetooth is open. Okay, now I go back. Now I turn on my Bluetooth. And now I lock the screen. Oh, there you go. You can see it. Yep. So guys, the next app in my list is the Vokray. It's pretty much like the Google Translate, but instead it translates your voice into a different language. For example, you can select your language and you, you can select your language that you want to convert it to. And once done, sorry. And once done, you can just hit start conversation you can just tap onto this mic icon and you can start speaking and once you stop it will automatically convert it to the language you have selected it to so it's like a conversation and it works great i have tasted it the next app in my list is the wave control pro this app allows you to control your music calls videos playback with just a wave over the phone so just to show you you can do your general settings as per your preferences for example screen off only mode that means the wave functionality works only when you when the screen is off you can do it for on mode only so you can do your basic preferences now i'm just showing you how it works So the next one is the Pixel Aromatic. It's basically an photo editing app. You can add pretty cool effects to your photos. Say for example, you can choose between different effects. It's like the Instagram for these effects only, but you get tons of it. You can also add other effects like these lines, circles, bubble and so on. You also can add borders to your pictures. And to save this picture, you can simply tap this icon. So that's pretty much it. The next one is the History Eraser Pro. The name of the app pretty much says what it does. It cleans your browsing history, Google Play search history, emails, call logs, and SMS history. You can simply check or uncheck what history you want to clear and simply click clean. So that will clean up your history. Hit do it. So the next app in my list is the FX Camera. 
This app too is a photo editing app. Much of fun giving effects to photos. Like Happy Holidays, Toy, Joy Cam, Instant, Symmetric, Fish Eye and so on. Say for example, in one of my photo, I want to give this Fish Eye effect onto this pic. You can hit import to camera and select the default effect. Okay, so there it goes. So that's pretty much it. So the next one in my list is the Video Mix Pro. With this app, you can watch movies, cartoons, TV episodes for free. But with the Pro version, you can also choose between languages. So if you miss any of your important TV shows or any movies, you can simply watch it from this app. So that's pretty much it. The next one in my list is the Discovery News. This is the official Discovery News app. So you get all the recent and the latest news on Discovery. You can choose between categories like Earth, Space, Tech, Animals and so on. So you can select your preferred category to read news on and you'll get the headlines. It's loading. So if you are interested in any one of it, you can simply tap to read it in detail. So the next app in my list is the Drupa widget. It's a pretty cool and a very simple widget. You can do your customizations, uh, you know, like use the real background or a custom background, the refresh interval for your, for your weather. You also can use uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit for your temperature. You can do your settings and once you have done that, go on to widgets and you get this uh, Jupa widget. Here you have it Okay, with different grid sizes. Say for example, I want the 4x2, so you can just place it. And okay, you can select between different styles, whatever you like. Okay, say I like this one. I can simply tap it. Okay, so there it is. It's pretty cool. So that's pretty much it. The next one in my list is the Startup Manager. This app aims at helping you enable or disable startup items from your system boot for Android devices. Say for example, if you feel that your Android is too slow or lagging, and you can simply disable some apps from the user tray or the system tray and you'll definitely feel the difference once you have disabled it you need to grant the super user permission and once you have granted it just restart your phone and you'll feel the difference so the next app in my list is the google translate it's the official google translator pretty useful sometimes say for example i want to change my english language to french okay and i just type okay so there you have it so pretty useful sometimes so that's all guys thanks a lot for watching stay subscribed i'll be uploading more videos bye bye now and have a good day